It's Shark Week here on, no, it's not the Discovery Channel. This is Everyday Drinkers, Common Man Cocktails, and we're making the Shark Bite. This episode is sponsored by Stefan, Joseph, Linda, Ray, and Amy, and many others. Thanks for supporting the show. You can show your support by donating at everydaydrinkers.com slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're making the Shark Bite. This recipe was submitted by Neko. Uh, one and a half ounces of vodka. We got... What do we got here? Oh, Grey Goose. Grey Goose vodka. We've got an ounce and a half of lime and rum. Uh, limon, limon, I don't know how to say. Puerto Rican rum with natural citrus flavors. Uh, three ounces of sour mix or so, I hope. Homemade sour mix. Splash of grenadine, that's the effects. We're gonna do that at the end because there's the shark bite and there's the blood. Oh, blue curacao, because it's water, I'm guessing. I don't really know, I'm just kind of making this up as I go. So I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of a green because you got that citrus, blue curacao play off each other. I'm gonna put it in a highball because it's quite a bit of, of drink here. We got ice. I think it's sensible. We'll start with the vodka. I need a measuring stick. Uh, so we've got, what did I say, an ounce and a half? I don't think a stick is gonna help you. No, no it's not. It's like a measuring stick. Why don't I say that? Because there's people who listen, to a lot of people from other countries, and they're gonna think that's the way we say a measuring glass or something, so. No, it's anybody. not. He's just being ridiculous. Whoa, that's right. It's all about being ridiculous up in his house. Really, as a good rule of thumb, don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> that's just, there's some truth to that. Not as much as you may think, but. Oh, yeah, we got a half ounce. So we killed that bottle, but that's okay. That was actually just a leftover bottle that Jennifer had found. We're going to mix some brands here. Uh, we wanted an ounce of Blue Curacao. I did have somebody this week send a message saying that they tried to make the red, white, and blue shooter, and they're having issues because it's supposed to line up red, then white, and then blue. And some Blue Curacaos seem to have a little bit more sugar and they weigh a little bit more and they're pushing the white up so it's red, blue, and white, which doesn't look exactly right. So look for absolute, is it absolute density? Uh, where they will tell you, if you can find a chart that will tell you how heavy it's going to be in the in the liquid. You don't want it to, and it's brand specific too. Which curacao did you use, do you remember? I don't, I bet you I use senior curacao. Mm -hmm. uh, they had Hiram Walker and I think it's just too heavy. So get a cheap brand, uh, maybe that might help, or, or look it up and see if you could find it. I didn't put any sour mix in here yet, did I? Probably not, it looks about the same height as it was. Yeah, uh, because you want your layers to look right. But the thing is, some people are like, I just don't have what it takes to make a layer, right? Because they're they're making these layers, watching me do it, and they're doing it, and it's not working. So they're trying to mess with how they use the spoon, and it's really it's just it's the alcohol. It's not you. It's the alcohol. You probably apply and that to a lot of things. Too much consumption of it. Yeah. It's a little awkward. Of course, I'm going to shake this because it's got a lot of juices in there. I want to infuse those juices. Those are the icebergs. It's the Titanic. Yeah. Whoa. It's a cool color. Yes, it is! And then for effect. Just in case I pour too quickly here. It's me bleeding. Great. Thanks for the sound effects. No problem. So, the shark bite. Done. <laughs> of course, grenadine will eventually fall sink to the bottom. So Eventually. It did pretty darn Pretty quick, quick, yeah. It will leave some streaks. And if you, you can't probably see, but on the top where the foam is, it has still stained the foam. So there's this red pooling on the top, but it's not a layer, it's just a, kind of like a an off color, not really a stain, but it's sitting in sitting in the little micro bubbles. 
It smells like sour mix and citrus. That is just the right bit of sour. That is the relaxing sour. There's sour bite that rips your face off. Then there's like subtly, I, I taste the lime, but I don't actually get the bite from the lime. This is right in between. Slightly sour, very lemonade-esque. It's like you're drinking a, a sweeter lemonade with, no. It's just like you're dr drinking some sort of lemonade, only it's blue. So the best thing to compare this to would be a mildly acidic, slight bite lemonade. Good summer drink, sitting out in the hot sun. There you go, that is the shark bite. Question of the day. Speaking of, it is almost, gotta be almost summer. We almost have warmth up here. Um, it's probably really not close to summer, but when you're thinking about sitting down after a long day, relaxing in the heat, what is the cocktail you choose? Granted, you should be drinking water, but I know our audience is like, what the heck is water? So I'm gonna pose that question. What is your summer cocktail of choice? That's it. EverydayDrinkers.tv.com. We're teaching you how to drink.